Well, good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday, May 22nd, 2024. And today we're going to be doing a day in the life. Yep, this is the third consecutive year of me doing a day in the life on this day. So this year, what I'm going to do first to start off the morning is I'm going to go check for the pool temperature because we're just heating it right now. It's at 77 degrees. Keep in mind, when we just opened it, like the other day, it was at like 62. So it's really climbed in temperature in the last 24 hours. So that's good. But the second thing I'm going to do now, now that that's out of the way, keep in mind, I just did all my morning routine stuff. Like, got out of bed, brushed my teeth, took a shower, all that sort of stuff. But the next thing I'm going to do is I'm then going to go over and I'm going to go check on the chickens. And because we have them all over the place, I'm going to start off with the most convenient ones check first obviously we already had our meat chickens we did their harvest a few weeks ago last week but today we're gonna be doing this so we don't have to worry about them anymore but today we're just gonna go check on these chickens it's not time they begin coming outside looks like their automatic coop door hasn't quite yet opened and that's because well there's a ton of fog out here so that's kind of understandable just take a just open this up, of course. Just for them. Click K1. Release the clucking. I used to say that every time I do these videos. Good morning, chickens. How's it going? On this, it's gonna be alright Wednesday. I mean it's not gonna be terrible, but it could be better to be honest. And they're all just coming outside. There's Puff right there, it's my favorite chicken. It's Puff. <clears throat> so yeah, yesterday was about 89 degrees yesterday. 89, 90 degrees, same difference, whatever. There's really no difference between the upper 80s and low 90s. Today it's gonna be even worse. Today it's gonna be 91 to 92 degrees, which if you don't know, was literally the exact same temperature it was when I did the first day in the life on this day, two years ago. We literally had the exact same temperature range, so maybe this could do just as well, getting the 1.7k views, or maybe even bigger. See, the grass is beginning to come up in the chicken yard. Keep in mind, the chickens tear this yard up, so it is going to take a while for the grass to come back. But it is finally showing some signs of minuscule life out here, as you can see. They all start their day out here, it looks like, in just this general area of the yard here, as you can see. Anyways, let's go up to the pet flock next, because they're going to be next. Then I'm going to check and see if they have water in their waterers and prepare them their waterers all respectively. And then I'm, I'm going to go and so I'm going to go have some breakfast, which sadly I don't think I can record. So I think I made a terrible mistake coming out here of flip flops and socks because as you guys probably know, this is just a recipe for disaster in these types of grassy conditions. Because if you don't already know, well, sadly, the grass has morning dew on it and Socks that are wet are just a recipe for disaster. And keep in mind, I have to go to school soon. It's literally like 5.38 right now. And I, I get on the bus at like around six. So, so pretty soon I have to get on. I just go down here to let them all out, see what's going on. Looks like they need their waterers. So let's do release the cluck in 2.0 over here. So release the cluck in 2.0. I mean, well, this automatic coop door is broken, so I need to... Y'all want to come outside? Oh, there's Fluffball. Y'all coming outside? What y'all doing? I'll open up the big door and see what's going on in, in the bigger chicken coop. Oh yeah, this needs to be cleaned. I guess we'll do that later today. That's for, that's for sure something we need to get around to doing. <clears throat> Sally, last week has been pretty busy. So I'm going to go add some chicken feed to their... As you can see, I'm going to go add some chicken feed into their... Um, what is it? Wow, I can't talk. Their feeder. It should be under the coop somewhere. So let me go look for it. It should be right under the... Yep, there it is. Sadly hidden behind literally everything right now. Alright, there it is. That should be enough. Alright, there's Fluffball going to go get it. 
The rest of the chickens, keep in mind, this flock hits a blade except for fluff ball apparently. Fluff ball's on a different timing. As you probably all know, because fluff ball is just that cool. So let's go over and prepare their waterers. Uh, that's sometimes a pain when that happens. All right, so let's get this stood up straight so we can pour the water into it. Let's get this on a flat surface, like right here. I don't want to spray myself. Why does this thing keep a thing I want to? Let's put on shower because this one's easier to use. That's out of the way. As you can see, it's a pretty nice morning to get out and do some work. Sadly, I have to go soon. And I'll probably be back for around, what, 2.45, 2 3 p.m. Because I go to school like three towns away. So it's a pretty long commute in there and then back out of there. It's even longer out of there than in there, to be honest. Like, it's about an hour in and an hour and 25 back. Fortunately, it was first period till seven in the morning, which is quite early for first period. Um, fortunately, it's not like anything crazy, but sadly, I have all this. Sadly, I have all these exams coming up soon. Like at the, like at the end of Memorial Day week, is when I have all these exams that are going to begin, and then my last day of school is going to be in mid June. So that's cool. So. As you can see, it's pretty nice outside right now. It's about 5.49 a.m. right now. As you can see, the fog is getting to the nice part out here. The leaves are all on the trees for the most part. So for some of those, I don't know what those trees are called over there. I forgot their name, but they're like pretty invasive. And they grow everywhere. And last year we had a nice little, last year we had a pretty nice uh, set of maple seeds that came down out of the trees. And they genuinely began to just blossom everywhere to the point where now well there's literally maple trees coming up in every area of the yard it's like literally every single area in the yard has maple trees right now so i'll be back after school all right well we're home it's about 92 degrees right now just as it was about two years ago on this day what time is that i do not remember it is 2 56 p.m right now so i just got back four minutes before i said i would but yeah, still a pretty rough day today. Let's go check the pool temperature, see if we got it up to a good swimmable temperature, which is 84 degrees. Well, really, I could probably swim in 80. Oh, I, I see 84, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I just saw 84. Yep, I see 84. There it is right there, 84. 84. All in its glory. So I guess we could go take a dip soon, but I'm going to show you what all we do around here in the afternoon. Let's go check on the garden. Please keep in mind. I wasn't here the whole day, so I'm just seeing what happened just now. Alright, so I'm well aware I wasn't able to like record anything while I was gone for school, obviously. But what also ended up happening was today I had to do not one, not two, but three presentations today. They were all really painful to do. And um, fortunately, I think I did okay on all of them, at the very least. <clears throat> they were for, of course, they were for English, history, and another class. And it was just such a terrible experience. I would not recommend it. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, sorry, the allergies are getting to me around this time of year. It is hotter than ever, man. So today, while I was gone though, what we ended up doing was we were fixing the fence over there, right behind the pool. We fixed up the fence over there. There was an issue with it. Because when the people that came to build a pool built it, they accidentally knocked and broke one of the, um, one of the posts <clears throat> so I need to get that all fixed up and fortunately it is fixed by the looks of things right now it is a hundred percent fixed all we need to do now is get ourselves a nice old cover to keep the birds from getting to our blueberries and then we should be good to go we also laid out some more weed blocker over here for the strawberry patch kind of just covered up Two of the older ones and there's actually stuff in there too which is cool which is pretty cool <clears throat> um so instead of walking on those we're gonna be walking on this right here instead and right in here we have of course the garden i showed this to you in the garden tour i did just yesterday 
And right over here we have our chickens, which keep escaping no matter how many times we have to move them. We literally moved them two weeks ago. And look at all this, thing. look at all this lusciousness they have over here. They have tons of shrubbery, grass, really anything for them to just munch on. But guess what? Nope, they're not going to be doing any of that. Instead, they got to leave the yard because the grass is like somewhat better outside of the yard. It's literally the exact same. So you can tell that they ain't doing their job. They ain't mowing no one's lawn over here. So this is the little hideout. It's either they're hiding in here from the heat or they're out of the yard doing whatever. <clears throat> What's going on, Pita? Why are you out of your yard? Well, and everyone liked going over to the compost pile. And by the way, the compost that's out there has finally turned to fresh dirt and soil that we can use for the gardening season this year. I really want to get the garden in this weekend because it'll be 80 degrees this weekend instead of 90 degrees, which is, as you probably know, better than um, 90 degrees. So yes, I will gladly say that this weekend we should plant it unless that 80 degrees turns out to be 30 degrees and it snows like five inches or whatever. I think we should be good to go. Just, But if that ends up happening, I'll keep you posted. Fortunately, our last frost is usually on average around today but we probably in the recent years haven't been seeing any frost to say last year we almost saw frost in june it was like i think it was 39 degrees in early june last year so we were close to having one but fortunately that never ended up happening which is good <clears throat> and and of course right over here we have all the sort of stuff that we've set up recently getting ready for the summer months and tomorrow there's gonna be some severe thunderstorms in the area it's gonna be pretty hot and humid and then on uh, Friday, we have, and then Friday is going to be a pretty interesting day. And then, well, it looks like school year is almost over. Just got to say, as I said earlier, exams are coming up at the end of the month. I've been studying for these things crazily. Like, I'm not joking. Like, I'm genuinely studying for these exams. I genuinely want to get a, like, a really good grade on it. To my understanding, I have four exams. So, it's going to be quite the interesting set up this year if I don't say so myself four exams is crazy though and the craziest thing is that they all happen in succession to each other the rest of the classes I just have projects or it's a study hall and I don't have to do anything just sit down there for like two hours on my phone because on a normal school day it's like an hour and five minutes for each class but on an, but on the exam day it's like two hours and 20 minutes so I'm just chilling there for two hours 20 minutes doing literally nothing and I have to go through this for probably the next for the next couple years which is gonna suck also 6 15 right now took a dip in the pool got out like maybe 20 minutes ago dried off of course it's a pretty nice evening it's no longer in the 90s it's now about I'd say 77 78 degrees right now let's go check up on the garden you might have saw it a bit this morning um, hopefully the transplant should be done either in early June or late July. not late July late May as you saw yesterday, you had a cucumber coming in. You can check out the harvest on the, sh not the harvest, the, um, the video on the channel. <clears throat> As you can see, these things need some water. So I have to go water them probably tomorrow is when they're probably due for watering. So either tonight or tomorrow is when I'll end up going to go water them. Most likely tomorrow. Tomorrow is also going to be a day with severe thunderstorms as well. So that's going to be quite interesting to see how that ends up playing out. So yeah. You yeah, know, that'll be cool. <clears throat> I probably won't end up recording any of it. I'll probably just record like an outdoors kind type of video tomorrow. Probably my first one, to be honest. But you never know. All right, so it's about 8 p.m. right now, and the chickens are still out. This is probably the second to last clip I record. Uh, I'll record my me making a milkshake, and then I will go back out here and conclude the video out for you guys. So hopefully this is like maybe under 15 minutes long. So it's pretty accessible. I remember you know, once did a day in life that was 90 minutes long. Not the best use of time. That was genuinely like, that was genuinely like a 15th of my day that day. It was just recorded. <clears throat> pretty sure it was because like I spent 22 minutes chasing down one whole chicken. But that was like, that was almost three years ago now, bro. I think that's pretty concerning in and of itself. I remember two days before I was pretty sick with whatever got me infected on that last day of school that year and then I recorded the day in life and that was pretty long so I decided to not upload it I do have clips of it 
clips of like it's so big that I probably have to upload it in many pieces but as you know me now I, I can sometimes post big videos like hour-long videos now so it wouldn't be so it'll be just a walk in the park for me nowadays so as you can see these chickens are still at the pet flock is most likely going in for the night at this point I'd say if not then most of them are already in the farm flock is working on tucking themselves in so I'd say today was quite the eventful day we got up to around 92 degrees today. I went for my first swim, spent about two hours in the pool today. The water was nice and warm. Pretty nice, I must say. I'd say I enjoyed my time in the pool today. It's pretty nice and quiet swim. I had my I had my speaker out there playing some music. It was pretty nice. <clears throat> and then out here, we're gonna walk to the pet flock, see what's going on out there, see if they're tucked away yet, and then they'll go in. I'll go make my milkshake, and I'll come back out here and conclude it. And then I'll go inside, and I'll edit this down for y'all. Include any other necessary edits if necessary, but probably not really not necessary. Maybe adding some music to this as well. I'm going to be completely real with you. This, last year's May 22nd day in the life was just all right. This year's one is literally just a replica of 2022. Because that video got like 1,700 views. I want to see if I can do the same with this. <clears throat> that video was just a cheat code, blew up for like two months. <sighs> so we have our very, uh oh, I, I always do this when I hop over the fence. So we have our pretty birdie chickens in here. That's, I see loudmouth and cute. I forgot to clean the coop today. And I'm going to count them real quick. Then I'm going to close up this coop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I only see ten, but one, two, three. I see three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That one's there. We've got a full house tonight. I already got the eggs earlier. That was right before I hopped in the pool, so I didn't record it because I don't because I didn't have my camera with me. Well, we have our milkshake here, as you can see, and it looks like the moon is pretty orange over there. I don't know if you can tell. It's right behind those power lines and those trees. We have an orange moon tonight, it looks like. After a pretty long day, it's about 68 degrees right now. It's going to be about 60 tonight. It's not going to drop too much further. Tomorrow, we're going to see thunderstorms. High will be around 81. And Friday, it'll be 84 degrees. Good, because Friday, I'm going to be spending the whole day outside. I might need some extra sunblock, though. So I'm going to try out a new little type of outro here. If y'all really did enjoy this video, I'd recommend clicking the video on the screen right now, which is kind of related to this, and it's actually my May 22nd day in life from last year because I do these every year to celebrate the big accomplishment I had on May 22nd, 2022. So, yeah, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and see you in the next one.